So now let us take up another example that shows the, the flexibility of the anonymous function method that I have shown earlier. Okay. Earlier we have decided we have sorry defined our function polyfun polyfun that takes in t as input argument and that takes in param as a structure okay and returns the value phi okay in a few few minutes earlier what i had shown is how to do numerical integration in which case we were integrating from t0 to t1 phi dt okay now in this particular example we are going to use ODE 45 in order to solve the ordinary differential equation. Okay. Now this is something that I am, uh, this is something that, uh, so this is something that beginner users may not necessarily grasp which is perfectly fine. In this particular week in assignments I am not going to expect you to know this. Okay. However, the integration will be covered in week 6. ODEs will be covered in week 7 and 8. So, if you are a beginner user, okay, once you are done week 6, come back and review this particular video. Once you are do, done with week 7 and 8, again come back and review this video. That is when you will understand the full power of anonymous functions and you will truly understand what I am trying to teach you in this particular lecture. Okay. However, let us continue and show you the power of uh, using anonymous functions. Okay. So, what does integral expect? Integral expects a single variable and it will do uh, integration of f of x dx. So, that single variable x as you realize is a dummy variable and that particular variable was t. As a result, we had written this as at t okay this is what we had used and passed on to okay now what does ode 45 does ode 45 solves a problem f of t comma x okay or it i should have written this actually in this form okay here we have dh by dt so, I will change this to h by dt. Okay. This is the form that uh, ODE 45 expects this. Okay. Now, how we are going to write this? We are going to write this as at t comma h okay. Now what does MATLAB do? MATLAB recognizes this particular linkage. So it says that the first variable of your ODE solver is nothing but the temperature. Okay? The second variable of the ODE solver is ignored. H is completely ignored by MATLAB. Why it is ignored? Because in the definition of phi, h does not exist. Okay. As a result, h is currently totally ignored by, by MATLAB. So, what we are doing over, over here is we have our ODE solver that tells us that we want a function of t comma h. Okay. Now, I have a friend polyphon who only expects t is not expecting h at all. So, what am I doing is I am telling ODE 45, yes, I know 
you want an answer with respect to 2 and h, I take the value of t, let us say 300, I take the value of 3, uh, 300, I take the parameter uh, param dot alpha, param dot beta, param dot gamma and pass it on to my friend polyfun. Thereafter, I pass it on 310, 320, 330, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and each time polyfun is returning the value of phi to me. Okay? That is what I am doing. I am not passing on the value of h, although I get the value of h, I am ignoring the value of h completely. Why? Because polyfun is not expecting the value of h, polyfun at each time is only as expecting that piece of paper with value of t and value of the structure param. Okay? So, that is what is happening. So, let us go to MATLAB and see how this can be done. Okay? So, this is what we were doing until now. Okay? So, what we have we are doing is Okay, and do not worry about the syntax OD45 okay, at t, h polyphon t, param. Why? Because polyphon is expecting t and param okay, as we had written over here, okay, followed by t span that is the range of integration from t0 to t1. Okay. What is the initial value? The initial value is h0, the h0 that we had calculated over here. So, it is h0 is 54300 let us say where at And we want to ask the question at t1 equal to 373, what is h1? Okay. So, therefore, this is the limits t0 to t1, this is our h0. Yeah, and this is what we are going to pass on. Okay. And this is solved and I get the entire range of T sol and entire range of H sol. The value of H1 is going to be H sol end. Okay. Now, now this is the value of H1. The difference, now you will see this, if you see sorry the h1 that is over here and h1 that is obtained at the end are exactly the same. Now, if you note that the integral value when you did this, this particular integration, the integral value is i is going to be nothing but h1 minus h0. Okay? So, let us try out what that gives us. It is it's sol end minus h sol 1 that should give us the value close to or equal to i. Let us see what we get. That value is 4.648 into 10 to the power 4 which is exactly same as what we got with i. Okay? So, this is how we can solve the same problem using integral and using ODE45 using the same function. Okay, what I am showing you over here is a very powerful capability of MATLAB anonymous, anonymous function that you can exploit it for writing better programs. All of these concepts will be useful to you by the time you come to week number 6 or 7 of this course. Okay? Some of the concepts that I have talked about in the lat latter half of this video are going to be a little bit difficult for, for beginners amongst you. So, if you do not understand this entire video, that is perfectly fine for now. Come back and review it at week number 6, 7 and 8 all over again. I thank you for listening 
and I will see you in the next lecture. Thanks and bye.